What's up guys? Today there is a new open source software that uh, is the Pulse Chain dashboard. You can actually get uh, all the hex and uh, Pulse X and all the dApps that are on Pulse Chain uh, right here. <clears throat> you can check your liquidity and so forth. Uh, but I thought I would just put a quick tutorial so uh, you guys can figure out how to do it uh, if it's a little bit harder for you guys. So uh, first off, I'll put the uh, I'll put the link down below. But this is the GitLab uh, dot com link. Uh, click it. I have a Windows PC. There is a Mac. I don't have any Macs, or I would help you guys do it. Uh, so we're gonna scroll down right here to latest release dot exe. All right, here let me make it bigger. Latest release dot exe for the Windows PC. All right. Now when it opens, it even says right here. Note these binary binaries are not signed. Uh, so you're going to get a pop up that says click more and then run anywhere on Mac OS, uncompress the zip file and run the dot slash run dash app dot sh file. Instructions are included with the uh, re readme uh, text. So for Windows, if you're on a Windows PC, go over here, press download, it downloads, right? And we'll just let that download. I'm going to actually look at the readme so we can uh, help out some other people that might be doing the uh, Mac OS really quick. All right. Now that the uh, Pulse Chain dashboard is downloaded for uh, the Windows PC, let's go ahead and open it. Let's go to our downloads file and open it it's right here. Da uh, Pulse Chain dashboard. Uh, here's the Mac OS one. Let's just uh, extract it right here. And open it up. Here's the readme text right here. So if you're on a Mac, you're going to want to click the readme app or the readme text and uh, open it up. Here's uh step-by-step -step instructions that you're going to have for a, uh, for, for the uh, Mac operating system. So I don't have a Mac, never even used a Mac. So uh, you're on your own on that one. <laughs> and uh, with pulse chain dashboard, I mean, it's pretty easy here. You click the pulse chain dashboard and right here, you're going to click more info. And then run anyway. Now that that's uh, started, takes a couple seconds, and it's running. Here we go. So you can create a password. I'm just going to press save uh, as it's uh, optional to create a password in here. If you're using this to actually <laughs> stake and use it for your some of your main wallets, you probably want to put a password on there. This is pretty much uh, you know just just put a password on it. Uh, but since I don't do any of that on this uh, computer, I'm just going to save it. All right, so it's retrieving the prices currently. So this is the dashboard. This is uh, takes up to 30 to 60 seconds to get the history from the blockchain. And it's all right here, guys. Uh, if you have any liquidity pools that you can tie your wallet to it, add address. So just like on uh, GoPulse, you can add an address. Let's get an address. Let's get my, uh... all right, we got an address uh, of a fresh new wallet. But uh, so let's add this address, add it. And there you go. It shows you how much uh, tokens you have in there or how many, how much your tokens are worth in there. All percentages are approximation based off the value of Tether USD from Ethereum. So cool. Uh, the coolest thing that I found about this is if you go over here to dApps, now instead of having to download each and every individual EXE from the uh, <clears throat> Pulse, PulseX or Hex.com or excuse me, go.hex.com, uh, now you can just press download right here. It's actually going to prompt you. There you go. Okay, so this one didn't prompt me. Sometimes it'll prompt you if you need to allow it outside of your, uh, your, your firewall. So you can just download each and every one of these. And there you go. Now you can get on PulseX right from here. Look, okay, here we go. This is what it is. So allow access right here. Boom. Now you have PulseX running locally. Pulse X bridge or Pulse Chain bridge. Boom. Locally. Pulse Chain bridge. Pulse Chain Explorer. Got that. And then go.hex.com or hex mining. There you go. You got that all running locally now. Uh, nobody can shut this down. Pretty awesome. Decentralized protocol. And uh, all the front ends are right here. Instead of having to download each and every one of these EXEs. Right. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So another one is activity. Uh, this feature utilizes Pulse Chain's Explorer API temporarily enable external calls to Pulse Chain Explorer API. So you can enable it and it'll show your uh, most recent activity. Also, if you're providing any liquidity, there will be your liquidity pools right here if you uh, add the address. 
uh, you can actually click on these and see what the uh, prices are in USD or against Pulse. Uh, you can view the pair on PulseX or view token on PulseX. Uh, let's see. Can we add a token to the... There we go. So if you want to add a token to the uh, token watch list, here you go. Let's... Uh... All right. So here we got a token address that's not uh, one of the main ones. Pasted it right here. And uh, there you go. You can add it right here. Now it's right here. You got uh, an extra token there, and that's how you add your own tokens to the uh, to the wallet tracker. You can actually add other wallets and uh, your liquidity pairing. So if you have an enter your PLP token address, you can scan it or you can search for it. So you can either show or hide all the tokens right here. Pretty amazing stuff. So that's pretty much uh, just a wallet tracker. Uh, it's installed lo locally and not only wallet tracker, but also you can run the uh, decentralized apps right here locally so no need to uh go to those uh uh pinata links anymore now you can have them locally if you found this uh tutorial useful hit the uh likes and share it with the people that uh, are around you so they can know how to uh, install it themselves uh all right thanks guys